All right, so as you can see in those pictures, the ears were a little bit floppy and it looked like this one. So what I want to show you is a good way to make it more um, standing up like this one right over here. So basically all you have to do is get some thread and a needle and we're going to sew it from the very back. All right, and so you want to make sure that it's going to match the same color. So black is what I'm using since the head is black. If you had a different color, a mask on it, you're going to use a different color just so it doesn't stick out and look obvious. So here is my black string, just long enough to make it um, go. I don't need that long, actually, just a little bit. All right, so I just went to, moved it to the front so I could push the ear back to see how far back I want it. I don't want it to be too far back or too far forward. So I adjust it the way I want. Just pick any spot at the back, stick your needle into the back, and then a back of the ear, and then connect it to the back of the head. Not too far back, just far enough that it will lift the ear up like this. All right, and so now you can see that the ears are both sticking up instead of being floppy, and that looks good to me. Um, but I did notice the eye is a little messed up. You can see that it's been in a box for a while, so the eye got a little crumpled up. So I'm going to show you how you can fix this with just a blow dryer, um, and it will only take about a minute, less than a minute. So here you go. All right, and so since it was in a box, that's why it got all... Um, uh, like bent up right here so what I did was got a blow dryer and I just put it I like hovered it just a little bit above the material um, so that it would get hot and then I would stop and then I would just like use my fingers to like smooth it and then I would blow dry it again and then it'd smooth it I didn't want to like keep the blow dryer on there a very long time because I didn't want to make the whole material like get all crinkled up uh, also, you don't want to use an iron because um, when the iron comes in contact with this type of material, because it's kind of like, um, I don't know, like a plasticky type of material. And so if you put an iron on here, it's just going to melt and get stuck to the iron. So you definitely do not want to use an iron. So just get a blow dryer and kind of just hover it on top of here for a few seconds. Uh, smooth it out with your finger, like put some pressure onto the spot. And then uh, let it go and do it again a couple of times just until it gets nice and smooth. So you can see now that um, that wrinkle is no longer here because it was like really bad. Um, so yeah, that's just another tip uh, about uh, how to fix the eyes whenever they get crinkled up or any of the other materials if you have uh, another costume and it's like um, the eyebrows or something are all like bent up. Uh, just put some heat above it like a blow dryer and just smooth it out all right so hopefully these tips will help you um i didn't realize i was gonna like run into these types of problems until i had to pull it out to use it so i uh, hope you guys enjoy this small little video uh of a birthday party for a co-worker that this was used at so i will talk to you guys later bye Mickey. <laughs> Mickey.